Hello, this is Raphael from XX Raphael Productions. I'm going to be teaching you how to make animations in Swift. So I'm going to be using these three sprites because you don't really support GIF files in Xcode. So I made a tutorial on this on Objective-C, but this time I'm going to make one for Swift as well. So let's get started and let's go and create a new Xcode project. It's going to be a single view application. We're going to click next. I'm going to call mine animation tutorial which make sure the language is also set to Swift because that's the programming language we're going to be using. If you want the Objective-C tutorial, I've linked it in the description below. So check that one out. If you're looking for an Objective-C tutorial, check that out. So let's go to Next and I'm going to save it in my coding workspace. So I always save my um, projects, my programming projects, which I recommend as well for you. Uh, no, yeah, that's just my own problem, but if you're going to make animations, you're going to drag in the images you need, so let's go and drag in our three, so mine is a, some, a dragon which you can choose your own animations because I'm only doing the dragon for this tutorial but you can choose whatever images you wish to um, I can make my application portrait as well, I don't really need it to be landscape let's head over to main.storyboard and we're going to drag in an image, so let's go over here this is going to be the, for the iPhone XR. You can change the iPhone if you wish to. But let's go over and drag in an image view. So click this top on the top right. Type image view. And we're going to click and drag it right here. It's going to be in the center. Oops. Can we resize that? Probably around like that much. Actually, wait. Since it's a dragon, we can make it like this for a minute. Okay. So let's go over to our um, fourth tab, which is the Attributes Inspector. Make it the first dragon, which we, you can mess around with the size if you wish, because I want mine to be like a little like this. Okay, let's head over here, and uh, if you want your dragon to resize depending on the square, you can change the aspect fit to scale to fill, but it will stretch out, so you can also you know mess around with it until you find which one you want. I'll do mine probably about like this. We can change the image a little if it looks weird, so don't worry about that for now. Let's look for a button, and this button is what happens if we click and start the animation. So we drag this here. I'm going to make it around the center, and I'm going to make this say a start animating. So when we click this button, the dragon will start to flap. So we've got dragon 1, the PNG. Dragon 2.png and Dragon 3.png. Let's head over to our um, view controller dot Swift. Okay, and we're gonna declare those two. So let's do IB outlet at IB outlet. Next one is var, and this will be um, for the image. So let's do animate image for the image that we just dragged in earlier. We're gonna do colon, and this will be UI image view. So if you're in Objective C, you will just do IB Outlet UI Image View asterisk and then the name, which is Animate Image. Okay, and now we can do for the button. So let's go to Main Storyboard and let's head over to our um, Assistant Editor. Here we can Control Click or Right Click and drag to start animating. So until you see this blue line, drag it anywhere that is not taking up any code. So connection will be Action. The name of this is going to be Start Animation button T type is any event is touch up inside and arguments will be sender click connect and space it out for any for more space when we type in the code later on so let's head over back to our normal editor and now let's actually go back to view controller.swift all we need to do now is simply go to our function so go to our function over here and type in animate images dot animation images equals um bracket UI image um cur curved bracket it will just say named which is going to be string we're going to do two speech marks we get rid of the extra speech marks over here and then now we also want to have three of this so comma copy and paste um this one again UI image so don't copy and paste that square bracket just that one's so UI image three times and then it's going to have the bracket but before we do that remove the, sp the comma first you'll have a few errors but they'll be fixed later on as we continue so let's go over and put dragon1.png uh, dragon2.png 
and Dragon3.png. Let's close that bracket over there. This can be a little confusing at first because there's a lot of code going on, but make sure you got everything right. So do as question mark and then type make a bracket and put UI image. Okay, I will give you guys a few seconds to, to get this correct because I know this is quite confusing to type out. So make sure you got that right at first before I continue. Or actually you can do it while I type. So if you look at that, we have gotten the UI image. We have put in the three images that we listed in that we added in our project. And um they're dragon one, dragon two, dragon three. If you want to add one more, just copy and paste that, include the comma and paste it in and then add in whatever image you want. That's if you want to add some more. But since we're only using three images, this is all we need. Now to actually start the animation to set it up, let's go over and type in animation image. Anima animate image actually. Dot animation um, repeat count. If we want it to be um, infinite, do negative one. Then next is animate image dot animation duration. Now this you can mess around with the time. I'm gonna do 0 0.5 because the the lesser the value is. So let me type in the lesser the value, the faster the animation. So basically, if I put this to one or two, it'll be slower. If I put it to like 0 0.5, 0 0.4, it'll be much more faster. Now to actually start the animation, let's do animate image dot start animating. And then see how this circle is kind of um not doesn't have any color like gray let's go back to main the storyboard which we actually should have done that earlier but it's okay head over to the top which we highlight blue we're gonna head over to the um connections inspector and drag an animate image to the dragon and now we can actually build and run our application before we do that let's talk about what we did okay so we're using our um ibl var animate image we basically made our Swift detect this image, so we we want it to know that this image image exists, and whatever code we do in our button, we are manipulating animate image, so we know we are manipulating this image. That's why we linked it up in our connections inspector. Now in our button's code, so whenever whatever is in between our IB action is the code that runs when you click on the button. We wanted it to animate images with an array with th of three images. And then we want it to repeat infinite, and we want it to we want each frame to pass by half a second, and also we we told it to start animating. So that's the, the last um, line here that will actually start the animation. So trigger it. Let's go and build and run iPhone XR. If you whatever phone you designed it, so I designed mine with an iPhone XR. You can see it over here. This is view as. So whatever phone or model you design it with, you can change it by going up to the simulators. Let's go to our simulator now and let's check it out. Whenever it pops up. It can take a while as well. So It can take a bit, but if you click start animating, now our dragon is started to animate, so um you can also stop animations. So let me teach you how to do that. So let me create another button. That is if you want to stop. If you only want the animation to continue forever, you can end the video now. But this is if you want to stop the animation. And we're going to go stop animating. This time we're going to create a new um, IB action. Let's go over to our assistant editor. Let's go and create a new IB action. So over here, and we can do stop animation button. This is optional, okay? This is only if you want to stop the animation. And here we can go and do animate image dot stop animating. Okay, and now if we were to build and run a second time, let's go build and run. Build succeeded. Let's go back to our um, iPhone, our simulator start animating it will start to animate and if we press stop the animation will stop if we want to start again it will start and stop so that is how you animate in Swift so thank you very much for watching if you like this video 
leave a like and also tell me more that you want to know about Swift. I did make a Swiftify tutorial earlier as well. If you want to see it, you can. I'll, I'll link it in the description below how to convert Objective C into Swift. Um, I will see you guys in the next video.